Edexcel GCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 213. In this one we're concentrating on the process of osmosis and we're also concentrating on the process of osmosis in animal cells. This will be 213C. You'll recall that the definition of osmosis is the movement of water from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution. This sets up three potential scenarios for an animal cell. Scenario one is that the animal cell finds itself in a dilute solution Scenario 2 is that the animal cell finds itself in a solution where the cytoplasm and the external solution are equal. So we just put an equal sign here. And the third scenario is that the animal cell finds itself in a solution which is actually more concentrated than the cytoplasm these have names. Where the external solution is dilute we call this hypotonic. Where the concentration of the cytoplasm and the external solution are equal we call this isotonic. And if the concentration of the fluid around the cell is more concentrated than the cytoplasm then we call this hypertonic. The definition of osmosis allows us to make predictions about what is going to happen to these three cells. Our definition predicts that with the dilute solution on the outside and the concentrated solution on the inside of the cell that water will move into this cell. So water moves in. This causes the volume of the cell to increase. However, the cell cannot tolerate becoming too large and the cell membrane will burst. This is a condition known as cell lysis. In an isotonic solution the amount of water going into the cell is equal to the amount of water going out of the cell. the volume remains constant. In a hypertonic solution our definition of osmosis predicts that the water will leave the cell. It will go from the dilute solution to the concentrated external solution. Water goes out. This means that the volume decreases. This causes the cell to shrink which is actually called crenellation. You will notice that human cells are not normally observed either to go through lysis or crenellation but actually remain constant. This is achieved in complex multicellular organisms like humans by an organ called the kidney. This will be studied in the process of homeostasis later in the course.